Hello and welcome to this Commerzbank webcast. In big German cities, house prices are rising at double-digit rates. Medium term, there is a significant risk of price bubbles. This is asset price inflation. But there is nothing like asset price inflation at the global level. Last year, prices of equities, government and corporate bonds globally no longer rose significantly. Global asset price inflation was over long before prices collapsed in January. This is surprising because, driven by the European and Japanese central banks, the global supply of central bank money rose much faster in 2015 than in the three years before. The end of global asset price inflation can only be explained with the change of course of the Fed policy, with the stop of the asset purchases and the prospect of a series of rate hikes. The Fed thus wants to prevent asset prices in the US from rising further, additionally fueling a US economy that is nearly operating at full employment anyway. This means the Fed is aiming to bring US asset price inflation to a standstill. But this does not apply to the Eurozone. Here the ECB will probably ease monetary policy further in March. It will thereby cement its zero interest rate policy. And this keeps asset price inflation in the Eurozone alive. The German equity index DAX, with its dividend yield of a good 3%, should recover medium term. Also, share prices will continue fluctuating strongly on concerns about China. Unlike in the US, asset price inflation is still not over in the Eurozone. Thank you for listening. For more information, please see our Week in Focus.